Good morning, and today is the 28th of July 2016. I've had breakfast, I've got a cup of tea, and the time is half past 10 in the a.m. So anyway, I've been up for like maybe an hour and a half, I think, something like that. Um, and obviously breakfast is done. I've got to go upstairs and get some work done. Really interesting. I've been sitting down watching some YouTube videos uh, about the authenticity of space and if we've even been to space, or if they've even sent anything into space. Very compelling arguments. Uh, raises a lot of questions about the authenticity of all that jazz. I personally have never believed in anything to do with space, because I just don't think it's possible, because of some basic physics and science which would prove it to be completely a load of crap it's not because i have that stuff that i don't believe in it it's just that whatever i've ever seen makes absolutely no sense especially when you're a filmmaker so like me i create a little movie every day and obviously i use editing software every single day and i know exactly what i can do with that software And there's a lot you can do with that software. You can literally, you can make anything happen. There is no limit as to what can be done with editing software, camera equipment, CGI, green screen. I could put anything behind me. You wouldn't even know. All right, like when I'm gaming over here and you guys are watching me here, I could just throw anything behind there. I could put a bunch of tits if I wanted to behind there. You'd think I'm in a or in a strip bar playing uh, playing the game. That's not a bad idea actually. But anyway, uh, that's my main take on it. I mean, there's a couple of really cool YouTubers out there who do talk a lot about this stuff. I don't know. I mean, I've always been a bit of a conspiracy theorist, I guess, because I've always been like, you know, there's more to it than what meets the eye, and I just don't trust the TV. I don't trust the news. I, I don't watch TV. That's why I don't like watching TV because I just don't trust what they're talking about. Movies tell you more truth than the news. Um, even music, some music even tells you what's actually going on because they just want you to know what's happening. But anyway, I've got roughly about... Um, I've got a few hours left because obviously I'm going to work today at 6. Boo hoo hoo. Bloody work. And I just wanted to finish off the uh, charted series. So I'm just going to run through their edits so that they're done. Because I've literally done part 9, which is now rendered. I'm going to have that uploading now. Make a thumbnail for it. So then you've got part 9. And then I'm going to make do part 10 and part 11 right now as well. Because I want my channel to be accessible to everybody. Um, only obviously the live streams. You actually hear me curse in my live streams obviously. But it's something I really want to stop, I want to try and stop doing because I hate the fact that I swear so much. I know it's funny and stuff, but at the same time, you know, it kind of like, I think limits my channel's potential because it only, because obviously, you know, you, you don't want to influence people in a bad light. You want to, you want people to get influenced in a good way. So, you know, I want my videos to be funny and everything, like always, but at the same time, I do want to have some sort of, have some sort of personal control over my mouth, you know. So, um, I'm going to be playing another game, 
the turtles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm going to be trying to play that game, and I'm going to try not to swear in that bloody game. That's the plan anyway. Maybe I might do a little little thing here, like a little, you know, like a little sign, like here, and have like a count for each time I've sworn in a video. Because even when I look at the bars, I mean, look, I'll show you this, look. So you see that all, all these little bars here at the bottom. This is all me editing out swearing. That's what this is. All these tiny little bars is swear words that have been edited out of this whole video. Now, that's a lot. You know, that's a lot. I mean, compare it to this one, which is very little. That one has a few. But this one has got sh loads in there. And I've got to do this one and that one. And I would just prefer not to have to do that. Because it would just make... I mean, if I had a couple in there, fair enough. But there's like, I don't know, maybe like a hundred plus in there. I, I haven't got a clue. I haven't even counted it, but there's a lot in there, you know. So it just makes it, uh, I mean, for some YouTubers, maybe like fine, you know, to cuss and stuff on their videos. Cool. But to some other people, it's not such a good thing. Like the, the, yesterday, I was live streaming and one of the viewers was like, um, his grandma telling him he needs to turn it off because of my swearing. So, you know, it's... You know, you, that, that's it right there, you know. Which was quite ironic, because I was playing an 18-plus game. So I was like, why the hell is your grandma letting you watch that in the first place? Anyway, but nevertheless, you know, I like to take some personal responsibilities for my own actions. Not not the actions of others, so... Right, so I've managed to finish editing the Uncharted series. So now all the parts are coming out. There's part 10, part 11... Part 9 is uploading right now, so that'll be the first part out for God knows how long I've released a gaming video. Like, one that I've edited, not just a live stream one. Also, I've been... I edited the vlog as well. Vlog 119. Can you believe that? We're at vlog 119. That means for 119 days straight, I've been making vlogs. It's incredible. And this is 120. But anyway, uh, what I was going to say is, I, I've been checking out some videos about tagging, and YouTube tagging, video tagging, using the right tags and all that stuff. Um, what do you guys actually do with your tags? Do you tag your videos in a certain format, depending on what videos it is? And um, there's some specific ways of tagging your videos to get them to rank up higher. But now YouTube's terms of use has changed as well because they're not just looking at tags anymore. I don't even know if tags even play any role whatsoever in your videos anymore, even the tag bar's there. Because before, when you type a tag in, it would give you a suggestion of tags to go with that tag. But now it's not like that anymore. They just like letting you write whatever the hell you want in your tags, basically. So I don't know how important tags are anymore for YouTube, to be honest. But... Saying that, the description seems to be playing a massive role in how your video is ranked and the title. But the most important thing is watch time. Now, the problem with watch time, using that as an algorithm from YouTube's algorithm system, using watch time is probably the worst idea YouTube could have had. Because now what happens is when you type in something you're looking for on YouTube, rather than it finding the newest video for that topic, it looks for the one with the most watch times, which is a bit unfair for all of us guys who are tiny on YouTube. Makes our job super difficult to even get recognised on the platform, because what what's going to happen is that it's going to it's going to bring back all the videos which are already been heavily established, probably having plus one million views, and all the YouTubers who are already known, like. YouTubers already who have already made a career on YouTube. They're the ones whose videos are going to come up the most because they're the ones who made the videos in the first place, maybe, and haven't made an updated version of the video. Then there's new YouTubers like us who make new videos to kind of make those videos disappear off the system because they're old, the, old, the knowledge is old and all that jazz. But it doesn't change on YouTube's algorithm. They're actually still going to use watch time so it's really important guys that when you make a video that you make sure that it's a really good video and that people watch it all the way through to the end but anyway it's coming up to quarter four i'm gonna be heading down 
Ugh. I'm going to be heading down in a little while to get ready to get ready to go to work. It's been a very like workaholic day today. I've just literally been working non-stop on videos and stuff. So it's literally been like that. And the thing is, it's so crucial, you know, for all you guys to know that if you're planning to do this kind of thing, you really need to get a really, really fast PC because my PC is struggling a little like quite a bit to run what I want it to do because it, it's fast but it's just not fast enough because like right now I've got two separate files open on Sony Vegas one's rendering a vlog one's rendering an Uncharted video and I'm uploading as well at the same time an Uncharted video to YouTube and literally it's all so slow whereas if it was just doing one job like if I had a video rendered and then that video was getting uploaded it would be done pretty quickly but because it's doing three tasks at one go it's finding it a little bit hard because the three tasks are very very heavy on the CPU right I'm all done with work today I'm gonna just gotta shut this window don't wanna leave it open find that it's been bloody raining again because uh, the other day when I left it open yes the sofa got a little bit wet. Get changed, get ready for work. It's four o'clock. I'm gonna go downstairs have dinner. The wife's not here, she's uh, at her mum's today. She's having her hair done. Let's get changed time lapse. All changed, all dressed, ready for another day at the office. And the weather has taken a toll for the worst. It's chucking it again. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs get some food. I'm hungry, man. I had lunch today. Working solid all the way through. So, I'm back from another day at work. It's already night time and the wife isn't home. Four hours went by pretty quickly and I've made my mind up. I need to have a haircut. So, I'm going to jump in the shower. And I'm going to cut my hair. Better, right? Surely that is much better. What do you guys think? Is it better? I think that looks so much better. Also, the wife has made it back home from her mum's house. And her mum sent me some food so that I don't starve to death. And there it is. This is chicken rice. And that's a yogurt thing. And this is poppadom. So I'm going to eat that. I'm going to watch a bit of TV probably. I need to get upstairs and put the other Uncharted video for render and upload part 10. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I get in my heart.